Uh, the phrase that I use the most is uh, Parlez vous anglais? Hi, my name is James Trundle and I'm with the film Dugout. Going out of your comfort zone, uh, experiencing something new, testing yourself. Uh, it doesn't have to be abroad, it doesn't even have to be difficult, it just has to be something that will change you a little bit maybe. Uh, do something that scares me. I think that's an important variable, something that I've never done before. I need to be a little bit nervous to know that it's going to be difficult and then, yeah. And also don't overthink it, don't over prepare. I think that's, that's always going to lead to an adventure if you don't try too hard. Well, I suppose the film that's in this film festival today is our most unforgettable trip. To live with an indigenous community in the Amazon jungle is just a great opportunity. Uh, it's a community that is in a really sort of, I suppose, tricky time. They're not going to be around forever. Uh, well, it's absolutely amazing to be invited to festivals. Love the festivals. Uh, one of the most important things for me is to meet the actual adventurers, to see what drives them, but also to look for inspiration. Uh, and not only at the last I was on a festival just last week and someone else went to the Amazon, so a very similar trip filmed at a very similar time, but such a different journey. It was interesting to see how they approached it and how their experience differed to ours. So yeah, I think it's really great just to be with like-minded people. Uh, not only the adventurers, but the people that come into the films, because a lot of them are thinking about what their next trip is and sort of helping them along their way. So yeah, it's a real honour to be invited to events like this. I suppose, in the simplest form, it's to be able to look back at what I've done when I'm older and think, I live my life to the fullest. No regrets, as much as I can. That's not possible to have absolutely no regrets, but trying to reduce any chance of that and just experience as, as much as I can in the time that I have. I think we <laughs> probably a, a spoon knife. <laughs> because I like to make spoons when I travel, because each spoon that I make reminds me of the place that I made it. It's like a memento. I think that's often why so many people buy things when they travel, because they want a memento. But if you make something, you invest a little bit of energy, and then at the end of the trip, you've got this thing that really connects you to a space, because the timber reflects the wood and the environment. Is, so yeah, I always have a spoon knife. <laughs>